this world ain't right Darkness without holy light Without your sunshine there is night It ain't hard to decide yeah. who I love to decide The grace is sufficient They twist a few scriptures Made a fake religion We can argue facts But can't debate the wisdom The serpent seed has subjugated his victims Created systems Made the heir to the throne Beg for permission Removed his customs Fed him traditions Merry Christmas Satan, Santa climbed down the chimney Into the fire To consume a sacrificial offering Talk about symbolism It's spiritual And the fact that we never seen it like that It's hysterical It's pseudo-truth It's satirical Only time Jacob allowed to be blunt Is when he lyrical Other than that Shut your trap And get back to the trap It ain't clear to you Messiah said that they gon' hate you Like they hated me Paint Jesus on a false image that may be M.O.P. Mark of the beast, I'm using acronyms to say the least. You know why we fiends, we wanted out, they call cocaine the key. And we believed, we so deceived. Disciplined by the Father, humbly brought to our knees. By a nation swift as the eagle floating through the breeze. Swooping on us, angels rooting for us like major leagues. I but your love is like no other. With skill you revealed how and why my people suffer. You crushed the sun for us and all the others Would you please let your spirit fall upon us Cause This world ain't right Darkness without holy light Without your sunshine there is night It ain't hard to decide who I love This world ain't right Darkness without holy light Without your sunshine there is night it ain't hard to decide who I love to decide. Being Kodesh is being blessed And him I have my being Ain't no being like the rest Forever on a quest To abandon his flesh Reading Torah publicly Cause civil unrest Relinquishing the scriptures Cause they would rather manifest In these universe cities Perversion is not oppressed Love universal law But hate the father's request The sin gets forgiven When men repent and confess Confess You are the lost sheep I'm quoting Michael Max, covered in soft fleece, fresh armory sweats. Descendants of the remnant that the Portuguese possessed. The Queen's pendant had an image of the system on our neck. Most of our shoulders that we can't do this without them. Liberation come from yielding, not just Sunday morning shouting. Placing emphasis on a building when that building is a mountain. And that mountain can be moved by the faithful temple in you. Shine your light. This world ain't right. Darkness without holy light. Without your sunshine, there is night. It ain't hard to decide who I love. This world ain't right. Darkness, it ain't hard to decide who I love. Without your sunshine, there is night. It ain't hard to decide who I love. Shalom. This is the Truth Be Told Flex Podcast Extra. I am your host, Shia Yeshu Judah. And as promised, we have special guest in the house tonight, Ak Zion Israel. And what I like to refer to him as when I talk to him is the money man. And how you doing, brother? How you doing? <laughs> man, I'm blessed, Shia. It's a blessing to be here. I'm excited to, you know, talk about what we're going to discuss here on this podcast today. So I'm doing great. Already, already, man. It is, it truly is a blessing to have you here, brother. And uh, like you said, before the show started, it's been a long time coming, man. And uh, we finally, we finally going to make this thing happen. Um, later on in the year, you will also be a guest on the show as well, brother. Okay. You will be a guest on the show. All right. 
I did stop that loop, did I? Okay, 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 okay. That day, man, you, hey, they was happy you was here today, brother. <laughs> <laughs> they was happy you was here. Yes, sir. Oh, yeah, well, you're with us, man. And like I say, you know, I, I refer to you, uh, refer to you as the money man. And I don't know how much of the show that you watch, but you know, we do talk about money a lot on this show, man. Um, mm -hmm. Especially with the current events that's going on, banks closing and stuff like that. Something that hopefully we'll be able to get into later on in the show. But tell us a little bit about yourself, brother. Uh, you know, who are you? Where are you from? You know, you know things that's important. Most definitely, here. So I, I guess I'll start with you know I'm, I'm definitely a, I'm a husband. I'm married to my beautiful wife, Mitria Israel, and uh, we've been married for seven years, brother. So you know that's a blessing. In itself, and uh, we have five beautiful children. Um, I'm so yes, also a father, and uh, you know, of course, the servant of the Most High. You know, um, that's why I, I, you know, when you reached out to me, brothers, like, oh, this, this is, it's got to be done. The nation has to hear um, what's exactly. going on when it comes to money, like you, like you've been talking about. But I'm originally from Louisiana, uh, a small town called Tallulah. Y'all probably never heard of it before, uh, but it's. It, it, yeah, it's, it's up north, very close to Mississippi, but I was born and raised there. Um, now I reside in Texas. And I'm um, just, you know, just a, you know, average person that's, that's, you know, being obedient to what the Most High has called me to do. And, and that's just to, to, to teach our people, you know. Um, so, yeah, so that's a little bit about me, brother. Okay, then, with all praises, man, um, I'm a firm believer of Hosea 4 and 6 that my people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. And, you know, when you get to talking about finances, man, that is something that has plagued Israel for a long time, brother. A long time we have been plagued by, by finances. And, and this is before we come into a knowledge of the truth, do during our knowledge of the truth and for many of us it's even after we come into a knowledge of the truth yeah. and you know according to deuteronomy 28 it's to be understood as to why but the most high always have rams in a bush he that's always right. have rams in a bush and that's one of the ways that i look at you as like a ram in a bush because um even though these curses are clinging to us the Most mm -hmm. High has allowed someone within Israel to be mm -hmm. able to decipher through that to be able to bring it back to the table and to give us some words of wisdom. So with that being said, I, I want to ask you, what made you want to pursue financial services, brother? Now, so Shaya, it's a crazy story, brother, crazy story. So um, first thing first, I'm actually a former hip hop artist. Okay, I um Get I, out of here. Uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. You can catch me on I'm, I'm on YouTube, I'm on um SoundCloud, I'm on iTunes. So yeah, yeah, Apple's man. I mean, I'm, I'm I've been doing I was doing music before I actually got into finances. So how it all start? Um I visit this um this church and it had um at that time I was seeking a place to gather being new in this truth. So it was just me and my wife at the time. So we're out and um, we're looking for a place to, to gather with brothers and sisters that were like minded. And we saw his name on this on this um, this building and it instantly got our attention. We go to this ch um, this church and we meet this couple. Um, the first thing I saw was them dressed in you know, nice garment. You know, the, 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 the wife, she had beautiful dress on. Right. Um, you know, um, the brother had a nice. Garment. I mean, they look they look really, really nice. OK, right. you know, I, I, I was like, man, and then they had a present about themselves. They, their present was very unique. So long story short, we started building a relationship with them. And I noticed, Shaya, I noticed that they were free. And what I mean by that okay. word free is that they didn't have anyone to have their thumb on the back and how they moved, how they did certain things. I'm like, man, I wonder what they do for a living, because at that time I had a nine to five job. OK. And I was always wanting to be in a position where I can call my own shots, but I had no examples, right? So this couple here, they they were they were my examples of someone in the truth okay. that um, that did finances. So I asked them, I said, "Hey, what do you guys do? I see you always giving back. You know, you guys are able to keep all the seven days of the high holy days that we keep 
I got to go back to work. They are able to still stay in Tabernacles and chill for seven days straight, right? Just do a lot of things that I wasn't able right. to do. I'm like, man, what did they do? So I asked him the question, um, you know, you know, my mentor, um, the brother who mentored me, his name is Mr. Marcus, him and his wife, they told me, looking right in my eyes and said, Zion, you know, we're, we're financial advisors. We help people with life insurance and annuities. And okay. I'm talking to a hip hop artist at that time. Right, right. I'm like, I don't know nobody no finances. I definitely know what no annuities are, but I'm willing <laughs> to learn. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm willing to learn as long as it's moral, as long as it's ethical. Right. right. And it's legal. Why not give it a shot? And that was my introduction to finances. And um, five years later, here I am. Oh, praises, man. So it, it's, it's true that the most High will put certain individuals in our pathway. You saw the door and you walk right into it. I love the way that you was thinking. You was like, man, what do they do to allow mm -hmm. them to move so freely? And I, I'm not going to lie to you, Zion. That's that's a question that I have my own self. And that's why I told you from the time I talked to you, I said, I feel like you and I is going to have a, a lot more conversations, man, because, hey, the proof is in the pudding, brother. Um, what what does J-18 mean? What is J-18? Yeah, so, yeah, so J-18 is actually the name of my organization, okay? Um, okay. And it stems from one of my favorite scriptures in the Bible, which is Joshua 1-8. Okay. okay, so the proper name is J18 Nation. I, we just gonna you know, for short sure we say J18. Um, but yeah, so in, in, in Joshua one day, I'm sure you're all familiar with the scripture. You know, um, it talks about that. Um, you know, we keep very sum it up. If we keep his commandments, we observe and do all that he's tell us to do. That we will, you know, would be prosper and we'd be successful in all that we do as long as we keep right. his commandments and observe to do it. Right. Uh -huh. So, um, so it's like you know what? That's what we're gonna stand for here in my company. And it just so happened that I have 80% of people that's in the same phase here that's, uh, that's in my, my, uh, my organization that work with my firm. So we, I'm surrounded by brothers and sisters that's like-minded, that's teaching the truth. So that's what J18 stands for, stands for Joshua 1A. And it's all Joshua about showing our people how to go from bun um, bondage to abundance mentally, spiritually, and also financially. Oh, praises, all oh, praises. Mm -hmm. And and for some reason, that sounds so much beautiful coming from you, Zion Israel, than from a TD Jakes or from a Creflo Dollar, you know what I'm saying, or something like that. Yeah. Because once again, we talking about the nation. And hey, bro, when, <laughs> I'm going to tell you, when I learned that I was a Hebrew, I started understanding what that Bible was talking about when it said how to treat your brethren, right? Yeah. Christians let us make us think that that's everybody. No. It's our brethren. And so you, you talking about giving back. And I love what you said, you know, as far as claiming that promise, because never seen the, all, the righteous forsaken or the offspring beg for bread, brother. So, yeah, you know, I'm with that. I love that. And so uh, J18, is that the name of the business as well? Right. That is the that actual is, name of the business. You got it, boss, man. That is the name of the business. That's right. All oh, praises, man. So I have another question here for you, Zion. If someone wants to get my finances in, in order, right? If I'm someone, I want to get my finances in order. What would that look like for me? How man, would you be able to help me do that? Question. Yes, sir. Good, good question for you. So I think number one, um, the first thing we have to establish is that what's the most important thing in your life? Right. And most people will say their children, their loved ones, right? Their spouse, right? So what we recommend here to be able to get you and the steps to become financially free on the road to become financially free, we gotta protect your income because it is you that's providing for your children. It is you that's providing for your spouse. Right. And if your spouse is a stay-at-home wife. If something happens to her, you have to now have some changes to be with the children. So number one thing that we do here when it comes to showing our clients how to get on that path to financial freedom is give them life insurance, which is the, okay. the true name is income protection. We have to protect okay. their income through life insurance. Okay. So it's the first step we have to do. Then after that, we got to make sure we educate our people. 
we don't want to just give them services, give them products and just leave them there driving by. They don't know. They don't know. You know, because we see our grandparents do all the time. They see a commercial. Some guy come knock on their door, give them some type of policy and it's trash. And, um, you know, now grandma passed away and, and all we have enough is to put her in the grave. Right. Not even give her a tombstone right. just to put her in the family. Right. Because no one right. educated our grandmother, our grandfather. Right. So we got to make sure we educate our people. So education is important. I love the scripture you quoted. Right. Um, our, you know, people perish for the lack of knowledge. Right. So we got to educate our people. And um, those are the first two steps. And after that, um, the third step is to show our people how to become owners. And what I mean by that, um, how to own things. And, and you can do that through owning stocks. OK, I know some some people may be listening to this right now and like Zion, it's a whole different language. I'm not I don't know. I, I hear I heard about stocks is bad. You got to stay away from it. Right. Listen, I was there. But the good thing about stocks is not going anywhere. Apple's not going nowhere. Google's not going nowhere. Microsoft, Lynn, oil, those things are not going nowhere. So if I can show my brother how to invest in stocks, invest in land and oil and things like that, by the time they turn 65, because they was making the right investments, well, they're going to be able to set and retire and enjoy themselves, you know, with their grandchildren, with their spouse, because they did the right thing with their money. So those are things that I will focus on for someone like yourself, Shear, that wants to be able to put themselves in a position to become financially free. we got to protect your income because we're not promised tomorrow. I got to educate you so you can so understand why you're doing this. And then, of course, so, show you so, how to become home. Oh, I'm sorry. Right, um, you're fine. Right. All praises. Yeah, sorry about that, brother, because I, I definitely don't want to cut you off. Um, mm -hmm. So the three steps will be protect your income, education, and learn how to invest. Am I correct? That's exactly right. Okay. So so with that being said, I, I'm, I'm 50 years old. How would investing for a brother that's my age already financially nowhere close to being able to retire right how would so would that be a more aggressive investing or you know medium i mean how how would that look for me say say for instance i wanted to to retire could you help me retire within the next 10 15 years Man, listen, look, first off, first thing first, I didn't know you was 50, brother. You look good, by the way. Okay, I thought you well, appreciate you know, it, brother. 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20. So, no, and then number one, of course, um, I, I have clients different age, right? Different beliefs and, and things of that sort. So we just ask our clients what they're comfortable with. We, we have a, an investment that is risky. If that person feels comfortable with that, of course, there, there's, there's high gain, but then sometimes it can be also losses depending on the situation, right? Uh, but if someone is conservative, they may not be too sure how investments work. We'll still give them something that's, um, I won't say like a 401k, but a Roth IRA, something that's better than a 401k, where they're still able to have some gain and no losses, right? Gotcha. But at the end of the day, whether you're 50, whether you're 60, you're 70, you have your money somewhere, and most people have it in the bank. And we know the banks is not doing anything for us. Right. Right. So everyone could benefit from the accounts that we offer. We offer so many varieties. The stock market is just one of the things that we offer our clients. Um, but we got so many different things that we have money marketing. We have emergency accounts. We have kids college funds. So just based off of what our client needs, we actually get that information through the, the, um, you know, the meeting, but in your, your situation, I'll ask you how comfortable are you in investing in a stock when it comes to risk and based off of what you say, we'll move you in that direction to see what's best. If that makes sense. Gotcha. Make, that makes all the sense in the world. Mm -hmm. Now mm -hmm. you mentioned protecting your income, right? That is something mm -hmm. that you, you mentioned and you said you would do that through, through life insurance, right? Why should I get life insurance? It, and, and how does life insurance protect my income? Yes. So, so number one, okay. Um, why should you get life insurance is because the Bible talks about in Proverbs 13, 22, a good man leaves an inheritance behind for his children's children. So every brother and sister who I know that's, that's in, the, in, the, in the truth, right, in the, in the nation, we, we want to be those good men, those good women. Right. So that way, just like Abraham did, he, lived it, he left an inheritance behind for Jacob. Vice right. versa, Jacob left an inheritance behind for Isaac, right? We got to make sure we are doing this even in captivity. Right. So so that's first. That's why we should get life insurance. 
Okay? okay. We're not promised tomorrow. Anything can happen, and we have to be able to leave something behind for our loved one. Okay. And then I think your what what was your second question, Shea? I want to make sure I answered that. How is correctly. it? How is it? How how does the process work with life insurance protecting my income? Like if I was to lose my job, because it got to be it, it has to be paid for as well, right? So how is it protection of your income? Is was the question. Gotcha, gotcha. So number one, there's there's two ways that it will protect your income. So let's say, I'm going to make up a name. Ashley gets very ill. She's sick and she can't work like you mentioned. Let's say, you know, most of the bit she has cancer, right? She has to go through all the chemo and all those things. She's on bed rest. Well, because she has a life insurance policy, okay, she's able to pour from her policy while she's alive as a living benefit and use that money to pay her bills, to pay her medical bills, to still provide for her children because she can't work, right? So life insurance can also be a form of a living benefit. And then number two, Sheer, of course, if Ashley were to pass away from that cancer, that that life insurance policy, let's say she was making $300,000, um, you know, let's say she was making $50,000 a year and I put a $300,000 policy on her or a half a million dollar policy on her, okay, if you and if you get the right type of insurance, that won't cost you no more than $2 a day. So now, as she passed away, $500,000 a year, that income is being that she was bringing in every year to her household, right. right? So now the children for five, six, seven years is still being provided for as if mom or dad was still alive. Was still alive. That's how it protects gotcha. you. Gotcha. Now I noticed mm -hmm. you said something. Um, I'm trying not to let nothing that you say get past me. You said the right uh -huh. insurance. You said providing that you get the right insurance. So with that being said, what life insurance should I get? See, there's a lot of different types of insurance that's out. Okay. Um, and then, you know, you got your different life insurance agent that will tell you all um, you know, depend on the person and, you know, you can't say one life insurance is, is the best or the right for because depending on the person, you can get them a IUL or a verbal or a whole life or a term. It depends on the person. Well, as a financial coach, if you do your research, okay, and, I, and everyone that's watching this, I advise you guys to do your research. Only a life insurance agent will tell you something like that. A financial coach, a financial advisor would tell you the best option to go when it comes to getting life insurance is term insurance. Okay. I'm going to repeat that one more time, okay? For those of you in the back, all right? But for the best option to get when it comes to life insurance is term insurance. And I'm going to kind of teach and I'm going to go over why we stay term insurance here. So okay. in case you didn't know what term insurance is, it's a, a, a type of life insurance policy that lasts for a temporary time. So it has an expiration date on it, okay? Um, and then one of the things about it is that it also is just pure insurance. It has no savings attached to it. That makes it very affordable, okay? So if I were to ask you, Shear, and I'm going to ask you this question. If you were to pass away, most of the bid, do you want your family to have, A, a better lifestyle, B, the same lifestyle or C, worse lifestyle. Which one would you rather your family to have? Better off the top, brother. Better off the top. This is right, brother. <laughs> See, when, you get, when you get term life insurance, you're able to get a million dollar policy for no more than $3 a day a year. Okay. You cannot do that with any other insurance. It'll right. cost you a warm leg and, and, and you probably have to make an agreement with the devil, right? And we want to do right. that, right? So, so we want to show our people because some of our people may not be in a position where they can get those type of policies that cost a lot of money. So terms is very affordable. Now you may be asking yourself, I know you may, you may be thinking this, well, what happens if, if the term expires, Ion? What happens if that 20 year period end, that 35 year period end? Because the goal right. is to live a long life, right? Right, right. right. That's why you get in front of a financial coach because the financial coach is most, most of the time they have an investment license, okay? We're investment brokers. 
Okay. So we have access to the stock market. And what the life insurance company does, they put your money in a savings and use your savings and invest it, just like the mm. banks do. So right. we say, we're not letting these companies get none of your hard working money because we have access to the stock market. So it bypassed the middleman. So if anybody's be making money off of your money, Mr. Client, Mrs. Client is going to be you. So I'm able to show you how to do what the life insurance companies are doing with your money, but they're taking your money by putting it in a life insurance company. So we show you how to invest the rest. So now she here, while they had that 35 year level policy that only costed them $50 a month, they was able to invest, let's say $150, you know, and we'll do a game plan and strategy, kind of show them how to get their money set in the right position, whatever they can do, they can invest. So let's say start off with $50 their first two years. Well, now their money is growing at a 9% interest rate where their $50 is working for them. Now let's say they pay off the car note and I tell them, hey, Instead of acting like your car note is paid off, use that $300 that you was exactly. paying for your car note and put it in investment. So now I've got a game plan with my clients to show them how to retire early. But also by the time that life insurance policy expires, they have the $500,000 cash. So they no longer have to pay the life insurance companies no more because they own the $500,000. Now they're self-insured. Right. See, we teach people how to get rid of life insurance. Because it's a myth you need it your whole life. Only a life yeah, because, insurance can tell you that. Because most wealthy people don't have life insurance. Am I correct? You, you are correct, brother. You are correct. And if they have it, they don't have it for life insurance year. They have it because all of these banks, they got so much money. They're like, we got to put our money somewhere else because the bank is only averaging a one point. Not even a 1.1 1. 1, right. uh, uh, point, 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 one interest rate. So they said we can at least put it in investment and a life insurance policy because it's in fact we can take it out anytime after the two years. That's a whole other story. But after right. the two years, putting it in the, in the policy, we can start taking it out and at least it's earning a 4% interest rate. So we're looking to listen to these people on TikTok and Instagram that got all this money, like Walker Flock and these rappers who was telling our right. people to invest their money with a life insurance policy, not understanding how these people have money and they're putting they're putting their money in life insurance policy because they have a lot of it and they take right. advantage of it. So right. it almost kind of like people. a tax write off. Exactly, brother. That's exactly what it is. So if they have like if the wealthy people have life insurance, it's only to benefit their income, not the life insurance. Right. Because they already have the money. Got you. Got that you. Makes sense? So I, I'm thinking that you probably already answered this question. And if so, um, I'm going to still ask the question that way. If you did answer the question, the people will know where, you know, in reference to what it is as well. Let's talk about being your own bank. What yeah. does that mean? Yes, great question. So that's something that's going out and it's very, very common now on social media. You may have heard this, be your own bank, right? Um, so pretty much what that means to you is kind of what I touched on earlier, is where you put money into a life insurance policy, which would be whole life, okay? Let me kind of explain how whole life and IULs how these things work, okay? So just to kind of tell, share my credibility, okay? Um, I've been Please in finance. Go, I've been in finances for almost a decade now. I have a life insurance age, uh, life insurance license, also an investment as well. Me and my wife. And so when it comes to these things, I'm not talking to you from a life insurance agent standpoint, but someone who has experience, but also in a financial perspective standpoint, right? So. Now, let's talk about being your own bank. So when it comes to being your own bank, you can only do that with a whole life insurance policy, okay, or IUL, yeah. which is um, Index Universal Life Insurance. And it's a form, it's another name for a whole life, okay? So when it comes to whole life, this is how it works here. And, and follow along, let me know if I'm going too fast, but it's not making sense, okay? So let's say someone takes um, a policy out on themselves for a hundred thousand dollars, whole life insurance policy. Okay, so which means that if they pass away, God forbid, their parents will 
I mean, their 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 loved ones would inherit a hundred thousand. So they got a hundred thousand dollar life insurance policy. Okay, but for this particular policy year, it's going to cost them about a hundred and fifty dollars. Okay, because it's more. Right. So the reason why it's more because that hundred and fifty dollars is split up in two portions. What I mean by that, let's say the fifty dollars for the hundred thousand is actually paying for the death claim, which is the hundred thousand dollar life insurance policy. Okay. okay? The hundred dollars is going towards the savings. Okay. okay. You follow me so far? Yes, sir. So yes, we got sir. fifty going to the policy. We got a hundred thousand going to a savings, right? Now, this is how they say you can be your own bank. By having this policy, you have to wait at least two years because the first two years, and that's minimum, some actually goes for five years, I've seen them. But minimum for the first two years, that $100 that's going towards your saving is gonna be at zero its first two years, okay. okay? Why is it at zero? It's because those that $100 for two years is paying the life insurance agent and the company. Hmm. So you have no, I don't want to bank like that. If I save some money in the bank for two years and I go back and, and say, Hey, not, right. money, and ain't no money that I don't want to be, if that's being your own personal bank, then, then, then I'm, don't count me in. Okay. Right. But this is what, it, this is what happens, but they don't tell us this because my people perish for lack of knowledge. For lack of knowledge. Right? So for those two years, the hundred dollars is going towards, going towards their savings. And then now let's say it hit year number three, a hundred dollars shows up. Right. And now you can be your own bank because you can take the hundred dollars out. Some people think they could take the hundred thousand dollars out of the policy, the right. um, the, the life insurance policy. Right. That's that's false. You can't pull any money from the life insurance policy. You can only use that okay. money if you if you pass mm -hmm. away or if you mm -hmm. you got a very very illness. Okay. Right. But you can't just get a five hundred thousand dollar life insurance policy and then tomorrow use that money to buy a house. It right. doesn't work like that. Okay. You look, look, if that's the case, you don't need no, you don't need no credit, right? You don't need exactly. no, you know, what, what, come on now. <laughs> but, but, they, but they pitching it as if that it works like that. Right? I'm going to go on, a, I'm going to go on a verge to say that if it worked like that, you wouldn't be having to ask people to, you wouldn't be having to beg people to get insurance policies either, man. Every, on, everybody bro. be, <laughs> so, right? sign, sign me up. <laughs> sign me up. If I, can, if I only have to pay one hundred fifty dollars, and tomorrow I can get the hundred thousand dollars, right? Everybody's signing up. She is exactly. right. Exactly. <laughs> but but because but but if we don't know better, right? This is what our people were doing and be misled, right? So so now they get the hundred dollar life insurance. Uh, I mean hundred dollar savings, and they can use that money because it's actually going at a four percent interest rate. Right. And that's how they can be their own bank, because they're able to get a higher interest rate than the bank. But, no, but let me make sure I say this. When they take that hundred dollars out of the savings year, are you ready for this? They have to pay that money yes. back. And if they don't pay it back, it's going to charge. The, it's, well, whether they pay it back or not, it's going to grow interest. So it's like a loan okay. now. OK. Right. So so that's why. Let's say somebody like Warren Buffett will take a million dollar policy and he'll put it in a life insurance policy and, and the IUL, it averaged like a 7% interest rate, right? But Warren Buffett is not using that money for life insurance. He's only using it right. to get that 7% interest rate. So now it's going to 7% right. interest rate. He can use it, but he can pay it back and he can get a write off because it's a life insurance policy. You can't do exactly. that in the bank. Right. Exactly. So this is what we're misled as a people. Most of us in Israel, we can't do the things that one Buffett does. OK, so I would tell my people, I advise my people to do his research and stay away from being your own personal bank. I mean, this to me, man, I, I probably if I had was to give this a title and I don't know if I would have been able to do it because it might have been copyright infringed me. But what you what, what this is to me of is rich dad, poor dad. I don't mm -hmm. know if you ever read that book or not, Rich Dad, Poor Dad, but us as black people or children of Israel, we look at money all the way different than, yeah. than I, you know what I'm saying, than, than the other nations. We don't even have the same type of conversations about money than the other nations do. And a lot of that is because back to Hosea 4 and 6, 
we are destroyed for lack of knowledge. We don't look at money as a tool. We look right. at money more as a necessity just to survive. With yeah. the other people, especially when you're talking names like Warren Buffett and your Bill Gates and your Elon Musk, when you're thinking the money is a tool to them, man. It's it's it's, 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 it's you know it's it's a tool to them that they use to be able to back what we was talking about, leave an inheritance not just for their children, but for their children, children. Come on. That's generational wealth, you know. I love it. So, I love and it. that's something that we cannot even begin to see because, you know, so many of us, we live in what, paycheck to paycheck. And then when we do get a little bit, right, we want to treat ourselves and we'll treat ourselves out of something that we don't have. Now yeah. we got to start all the way back over and work That's a little it. bit harder. You know what I'm saying? To to pay back what it is that, you know, that we done treated ourselves on. And, ju and just um, to add what you said, Chi, if you don't mind, and what you said was so beautiful, you know, um, you know, money is a tool, you know, and, and, and that's remi that remind me of one of the scriptures in Ecclesiastes. It says that, um, you know, money is the answer to all things. Exactly. And, and once we understand that and we start looking at it the way that, you know, they taught us to look at money, right? The, 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 the Western society here in America, you know, um, but money is a tool. It's a beautiful thing. And once we understand that she is, it's going to help us out as a nation. But that's why this is so important. OK, this is right. it's nothing. Right. It's not to place it before the most high. It's not it's not to become famous is is actually like it says in Deuteronomy 8 and 18 it says it's going to take wealth to actually get the covenant in Deuteronomy exactly. 8 and 18 it's going to take wealth for us to establish the covenant that he made with our forefathers that's what it says in Deuteronomy 8 and 18 so we have to understand it as a people and not be afraid of these conversations right and then sometimes we are afraid because you know we are in a position where we don't think we have it and we do. Exactly. And we do. And that's why we want to talk about it. But I, this is I me. can't remember the number. I don't remember the number, Zion. And I'm not gonna even begin to try to try to uh throw that number out. But I know us as the children of Israel, right? As as so as so called black people in this country, we spent more money than you have nations that have in their whole GDP. Seven trillion. In, in the tr there you trillion. go. You already know what the number is. Exactly. Seven trillion. And so when I look at that, I, I said to myself, they say that we don't have the money. We have the money. I have the money. We have the money. I mean, you know, it's what we do with the money is the question. This could go off into a whole nother conversation. <laughs> so, you know, I'm... I'm <laughs> I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna try to keep it right here, but it's what we do with the money is the question. We have. How do you think that you know, like where I'm from? I'm from Dallas, right? There used to be okay. a huge back in the early '90s. Man, his name was Ray Charles, right? Ray Charles was one of the biggest dope dealers in in Texas, mm -hmm. and he had dope from Oklahoma all the way to Dallas and you know it was rumored which was true that if you had any type of dope during that time it was heels from there to there you got people mm -hmm. like Rick Ross these people sold drugs and I'm saying this Zion Israel these people sold drugs in the hood mm -hmm. in projects and in what we consider low income neighborhoods but they became rich come on brother my point is is that the money is there come on <laughs> It's, what's not there is the education of the money. Can I add something this, to that? To you? Yes, Can sir. I add to that? Don't 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 forget your thought. Where do the other nations come to set up shop to do exactly? Make Most definitely. Most definitely. We talk about that on the show all the time. That when they open up the the gates and let immigrants in, give them the visa cards and allow them to have businesses. They open up the businesses. In our neighborhood. They know where the money is at. They, because they know where the money is at. The money is there, but the education is not there. And we ever get on par with the education along with what it is that we have, 
then we wouldn't be struggling as much as we are struggling when it comes to that. And this is one of the reasons other nations don't listen to us because we don't have power. That's right, brother. We don't have power. And because we don't have power, what are we going to listen to you for? You know? So you, you said something earlier too, brother, at the beginning of the show. You talk ownership. You say you want to teach people ownership. We're going to run a music break. And when we come back, Get off into that ownership part, if you don't mind, yes, brother. We'll do. We'll All do. right, then. Bet. All right, then. This is Truth Be Told Flex Podcast, and we are here with my brother, Zion Israel, and I knew it was going to be lit. I did. <laughs> the brother is dropping nuggets, and uh, so when we come back, we're going to talk ownership. Wouldn't it be so amazing yep. to see that new Jerusalem? <laughs> Can't wait. Getting away from all this wickedness in the Babylonian system. I tell you, it's gonna be so beautiful. Yeah. Check it out. To the upper for the final release. Edge on my seat, thinking how it's gonna be. My roof through your eyes if you witness the sea. It's so beautiful. It's so beautiful. Hey. New Jerusalem, the home of the free. Never looking back, so long, Miss Ray. Roof through your eyes if you witness the sea. It's so beautiful. It's so beautiful. Hey, yeah. Tell the Abba, I'm thankful for every breath Thank you, Every soul exonerated from persecution and death yes. See the price was too high, yet you came and paid all our debts all I could a perfect being be tortured with, with no regrets Can't imagine, but I'm striving to give you love utmost most respect. respect Haven't always walked the right, you could've killed me except uh. Your love was long-suffering, wanna give you my best Gotta avoid these summoning blocks with nooses around our neck Some hang they self with crime, not having members in check Of their bodies and their folly, they miss the chosen elect yes. Ancient path is straight and narrow, how many chose to go they left? Go it ain't right. I can see it while taking these baby steps. Uh, Hallelujah. Love is simple, but man will make it complex. complex. Caught up with what don't matter, they knowledge and intellect. See, if you're not humble, won't take the true introspect. Who for thought? Hey, Shalom, I love you nevertheless. Uh. To the upper for the final release. Yeah. Edge of my seat, thinking how it's gonna be. Yeah. My roof to your eyes if you witness the sea. It's so beautiful. It's so beautiful. Yeah. Hey. New Jerusalem, the home of the free. Yeah. Never looking back, so long, Miss Raheem. Her roof to your eyes if you witness the sea. It's so beautiful. It's so beautiful. Hey. Yeah. I dig down deep, I'm in my thoughts, I try and map it out mm. We walk and proof that your people, they can make it out okay. We're signing scriptures on the net, they brewing for some clout My chin is up, cause I know I'm covered by your cloud yeah. Rainy days, I just smile when they come around uh -huh. Collect them manna drops upon my head, they hit the ground We see them trees, yeah, we grew up in the stony town Lost some homies, cause they had the actions of a clown My review mirror, it got broke a long time ago I'm tired of Babylon, father, yeah, I wanna go To the land I'm milk and honey, rule, I beat my boat yeah. Pain is in my chest, yeah, it almost made me choke it is. Blood from the lamb, yeah, that's a righteous cloak it is. My left is to the east, that's the way we gotta go right Y'all rule above and free, is not no misty smoke no, no. Remove your shoes and our house, we about to touch the coat To the upper for the final release yeah. Edge of my seat, thinking how it's gonna be yeah. My roof to your eyes, if you witness the sea It's so beautiful, beautiful. so beautiful, yeah. hey New Jerusalem, the home of the free. Yeah. Never looking back, so long, Miss Raheem. Sure. Roof to your eyes if you witness the sea. It's so beautiful. It's so beautiful. Hey. Throw the hour for your final release. Hey. Edge on your seat, thinking how it's gonna be. A roof to your eyes if you witness the sea. It's so beautiful. beautiful. So beautiful. Hey. New Jerusalem, the home of the free. Never looking back, so long, Miss Raheem. A roof to your eyes if you witness to see It's so beautiful, so beautiful Hey, yeah So the Abba Yahuwah All the stains I thank you for all that you do yeah. Getting your children back on the ancient path What's up, Akzu? Uh, uh, my Ak Shalom Shalom Shalom, my people So beautiful All right, all right. Once again, this is Truth Be Told Flex Podcast. This is the extra side, and we have Zion Israel with us today. And I can tell you, man, uh, <laughs> the brother dropping these nuggets. And 
You know, if you was ever worried about finances and what you could do, and especially within our community, right? They always talking about save, save, save. How can you save when you be so stretched? I tell you what, my brother Zion Israel, he said he had the answers to that. And he's coming through with the answers to that. All I can say is, before we get finished, you're going to know how to get in contact with him and let this brother here help you out with the situations that you may be in right now. We was talking about ownership, man. So it's different ownerships, right? And I got my I got my thoughts on ownership, right? Um, but what should I own and how important is ownership? And I no particular order on that, right? But how would yeah. you answer that? Yeah, so um, what is ownership? Let's start there. You know, to make it simple, ownership is dominion like Adam had in Genesis. You know, he had dominion. He had power, right? And we have to get back there as a nation. You know, no one can tell someone who has ownership, who owns their house to get out. You know, no one can tell someone who has ownership of their own business that they're fired because they have dominion over that. And as a people, I believe, you know, it's important that Israel um, strive for those things. So let's talk about it. So one of the things that you can have on, I mean, we know business, right? I'm a businessman, you know, um, and there's several people out here in the truth that have their own business. I'll praise it to the most High for that. Right. Uh, and. and you may say, Zion, everybody may not be entrepreneur minded. Business um, savvy, right? A lot of people may not how to own a business or manage a business, and I get that. So here's the other thing that you have to follow. If you're not someone who may have, uh, you know, the personality, um, the skill set where you can actually run a business, we all, as a nation, are able to own other businesses. How does that work, Zion? Well, I'm exactly. glad you asked. How we can own other business is through the stock market, right? Okay. So, so what I mean by that, most of us, we have phones, some iPhones, right? Most of us use Cash App. What if I showed you how you can own Cash App that only costs you $13 to actually own a share of Cash App. Now, every time someone uses Cash App, including yourself, you're able to have ownership and get paid. It's just that simple for those who may not be business-minded. So mm -hmm. I would definitely suggest those of you who may be in the part of, you may not be an entrepreneur, that's okay. But how about we start owning these other things that we can own in a stock market like land, oil, um, you know, Apple, Microsoft, whatever company that you use on a daily basis, find out how you can get a piece of that share, how you can own stock. And you'll look up three years, five years, 10 years from now, you'll start seeing your money growing. And why why can't we not have our own black Warren Buffett? Man. Right? Why, Brother, why I'm, 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 I'm with you. I'm with you on that, 110. It's like, I made a comment on the show, Zion Israel, not long ago. I said, um, we're not a nation right now. And follow mm. me what I'm about to say, man. I said, we're mm. not a nation right now. I said, we're just a group of people who have come into a knowledge mm. that we are of the seed of Jacob. Come on, Because brother. a nation is able to function for itself. Come on, brother. A nation would be able to take care of its people. Mm -hmm. Right now, we are nowhere near that. You know, mm -hmm. um, if I fell on hard times, what are the chances of me being able to go within my nation to be able to help me? Or if mm -hmm. one of my brothers or sisters felt, what are the chances of them being able to come to me for me to be able to help them? You dig what uh, I'm saying? As yeah. a nation... They, they, they teachings, you know, they doctrines, but they there. You dig what I'm saying? Hey, one of their sisters need they got they got a bank to be able to help. One of their brothers, 
They got a bank to be able to help. They have places that, that they can live in. We don't have any of that right now. And I said all of that to say, when you started talking and you said, we all got cash out, my ears went up. Just use cash out today. <laughs> Got long as we got kids, we probably gonna use it every day. Hey, Dad, can you you see what I'm saying? Cash out me this, cash out me that. But then you said, "What if I can teach you how to whenever someone uses cash out?" But you didn't stop there. You said, "Including yourself, you get paid for that." That's called residual income. That's income while you sleep. You making money. But there's also something that I noticed in the way that you talk, which I don't want it to go over to people's heads. You're talking multiple streams of income. You're not just talking just one stream. You're talking multiple so for a person my age, 50 years old. Yeah, it's possible that I could retire. 10, 15 years down the road and just not getting started. Why? Is because I'm using what little bit of monies that I do have in different areas and I'm making the money work for me instead of me spending all of my energy working for the money. Stop chasing the bag. Let the bag Come chase on. you. Come on, brother. Come on. Like you said a mouthful. You said a mouthful. Let the bag you. chase you. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I dig that. So, so you teach, so... In stocks, and, and, and you said this earlier in the show, you, and, and I, I was, we're normally scared of things that we don't understand. So yeah. are you one who will be able to break stocks down to for a dummy? And you know what I'm yeah. saying? And, and explain yeah. it to me as if I was five years old? For sure, for sure. So so let's kind of let's kind of start there, right? So when it comes to stock, stock is something that you can have ownership of a company all right that's in the um you know pu public trademark right so you know the fortune 500 companies right that we all walmart i mean we can name them right so you're able to own a stock a share of ownership of these companies okay so let's say you want to buy apple and i'm just gonna um throw a number out there and i forget which you know it's, they keep going up and down but i think right now apple is at maybe uh 276 if i'm not mistaken but 276 dollars that's one share okay you had to spend if you want to have two shares you got to pay another 276 dollars so, me, so uh, is there a is there a uh minimum amount of shares i could could i just buy one share of apple you can buy one share that's exactly right you see everyone starts somewhere share and i always tell my clients this something is better than nothing having one percent of ownership of something is better than having zero percent of ownership. Zero, right? I'm not sure if you see Shark Tank. I love Shark Tank, right? And right. and you see these these people that are like, you know, how about I get ten percent, fifteen percent? Right? They never ask for a hundred. They don't never ask for fifty, right? They right. ask 10, right. 15 percent. Some make over 20, 30, right? Because so something right. is better than nothing. The other nations do that, right? So, and you don't have to start with Apple. You can start with AT and T. It's just sixty some sixty like sixty three dollars right now for AT and T. And most of us have AT and T. So instead yeah. of going buying, you know, um, the yep. a new just pair went, of just moved to AT and T last month. <laughs> Look at that! Look at that! Yeah. Right. So so instead of buying a pair of J's for two hundred dollars, you can go buy four shares of, of AT and T. You follow me so far? So that's how you own a stock. Now, let me mm -hmm. let me kind of also go over something that I recommend to my clients, because when you purchase one stock, if you put all your money in Apple, that can be risky. OK, but if you do something okay. like what we call a mutual fund, where if you take twenty five dollars, each dollar is going to be sent off to all the different Fortune 500 companies. So if Microsoft start doing bad, it's okay. I got other twenty. I got twenty four dollars in other places that's doing great. I'm not being affected. So it's kind of like it's kind of like walking in the elevator, and you know you on one string, and if that string breaks right. while you're on the elevator, oh you gone. But if you have twelve right. different strings in the elevator, if one break, 
you're not really, you know, you ain't, you, it, it may right. shake a little bit, but you probably can still get to your right. destination, right? So right. that's why I tell my people get a mutual fund. So that way, when they do invest, if Apple does bad this year or Microsoft does bad this year, you got that $25 and $23 is doing great out of the, the two that's not doing bad. Make sense. What's a good number? What's a good number just to start? I mean, if someone was interested in mutual funds, what's a good mm -hmm. number just to throw out? $50, uh, $100, $100, because like you say, you take money and you you are dividing it amongst these different companies, right? So what's a good right. number for someone to start at when you want to invest in mutual funds? Yeah, so two things. It, it all depends here when it comes to what the clients can do, okay? Um, because what you don't want to do is say 200, but 200 is like, oh my goodness, I can't do that, Zion. So with our company, you can start off as low as $25. Really? Okay. Yes, $25 here. And see, some people don't know that. They think they have yeah. to have thousands of dollars. No. Right. You can start off with $25 and start investing your money in the stock. And now you can walk around and say, yeah, I own Apple. Yeah, you know? Right, 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 and, right. And we did $25. So, so that's first thing first. We got we to gotta sit down with our clients and see what they can do. And right. then also see their game plan, their destination. So if you're trying to retire in 10 years, well, $25 is not going to do that. Exactly. Right? Exactly. So I got to ask you questions like, how much can you do? How much can you invest that would not put a strain on you financially? You can still pay right. your bill, but you can't. Instead of going to LA Fitness that costs $25 a month, you may have to go to Fitness Connection that costs $10 a month, right? right. You may have to right. start making some type of changes so you can hit your goal, gotcha. right? So gotcha. we'll start meeting our clients where they are. So that number, it's not a necessarily number where I can say this type, type of number would be a good amount. It just depends on gotcha. the person's information. Well, I, you, did ask, you did answer the question, if you believe it or not, Brother Zion, when you said that with your company, you can start as little as $25 a month. Now, this is the thing when it comes to us, man. And I can talk about us because I've been us all my life for the last <laughs> 50 years. It's we're going to do that. We figure out ways how to buy what we want to buy. And Come this on, is man. one of the things that I told my kids. I don't believe I don't believe in laziness, right? I don't I don't believe that people are lazy. And, and the reason why I say that, and this goes along with what I'm saying here as well, because we figure out how to do what we want to do. Lazy is just an easy term of you saying that you didn't want to do this at that particular time because if it was something that you wanted to do, you'd have did it. Same thing it is when it comes to spending money. You can look at that and say $25 is a lot of money. No, it's not. The brother just said, you'll go find out a way to go get those $200 Jordans. Now, there's a difference between assets and liability. Uh, yeah. Assets, you spend money on assets, an asset will bring you money back in. You spend money on liabilities, <laughs> it's gone. you just got it to say that you got it. Yeah, and this know. is the thing when it comes to material things, is yeah. that your eyes be on it, your heart be on it, and you want it, and then you go get it, and once you got it, now what? That's it. That's it. Like, now let, me, let me ask something. You said something, okay? And, and every time you say this, I hear so many scriptures. You know, you said that if, if we want something, we'll get it, right? And that reminds me of the scripture in Matthew, um, um, where men's, um, the men's, uh, where, where, where his treasure is, is where his heart is. Kind facts. We, we don't look facts. at it like that, right? Right. The scripture is twofold, right? So right. where his treasure is, is where his heart is. So right. if he really wanted, he's going to invest that treasure right. because that's where his heart is, right? Exactly. So, you know, when we understand the value, though, because we got to sit down sometime with our people and educate them, like you said, the liability and the assets. We got to let our people know that those J's, they're liabilities. It's going to, mm -hmm. after you were those J's, you know, the first two months, it's gone. The value is gone. And you ain't going right. to even like them as much as you did when you first got it. Exactly. Right. Exactly. But the thing about assets is that it gets better over time. Right. Right. That is a, 
A pair of J's can't do that. If you go right. buy a house right now and you let it sit, it has it has it's an asset, right? It has equity. That's so right. over the years, that house that costed a hundred thousand dollars because it's an asset, not a material, it's not a liability. You look up 10 years from now, that house now has five hundred thousand dollars in equity. Exactly. But we gotta exactly. keep on keep of those things. And once I believe, right. I believe when we educate the right ones and like this conversation that we're having, light bulbs will start popping off and be right. like, man. That brother Shia, right. he knows something. I gotta right. start getting out there to not liability. Right. Facts. Facts. I was just watching um uh, a video the other day, and this is the piggyback off of what you was talking about with the houses. Back in the 50s and 60s, people were buying houses at like ten thousand dollars, fifteen thousand dollars, whole houses, man. Within a 10-year period. Those houses went from being only worth ten, fifteen thousand dollars mm. to hundreds of thousands of dollars. Wow. And so instantly, like that, within a ten-year time, within a ten-year time, those families increased their wealth. Yes, by buying an asset, and so yeah. you know. They call it real estate for a reason. And I think you and I talked about this one time before. They call it real estate for a reason because it's real. It's yeah. real. It's tangible. That's yeah. real money. That's, you know, so you got people that you could take down a lot of his wealth is included in his ownership in hotels and land and stuff like that that's part of his portfolio is not so much of the zeros that's in a bank account is what he owned so i can say this for a certain zion israel the brother came in with a plan and the brother let you know that he know what it is that he's talking about so hey if there's something that's important to you tell us how can we get in touch with you brother Yes, yeah, so guys, you can you can definitely find me. I'm on all well, not all platforms on social media, but the main ones I do spend majority of my time on is um, Facebook. You can find me on Zion Israel, Z I O N I S R A E L, and then you can find me on Instagram is at I am Zion Israel, or you can check out my website at j18nation.com. Once again, that's j18nation.com. Right. And then I want to end it with this as well. We have a we do um, free webinars. If you enjoy this conversation that I had with my brother, Shear, you want to get just get more information on the conversation that you just heard. I might do webinars every last Sunday of the month. So you're able to check that out if you um, want on that J18 Nation website. Could you uh, repeat that, brother? Because uh, the internet kind of froze up a little bit when you was explaining your free webinar. Yeah, could you ex repeat that? Yes, sir. So the free webinar is pretty much just free education on what we just talked about, right? Ownership, okay. um, you know, businesses, um, investments, life insurance. And you can find it on my website, j18nation.com. And it's every last Sunday of the month. That's j18nation.com? Yes, sir. j18nation.com. Yes, sir. Gotcha. gotcha. I'm going to put that up. Uh, that way it could be seen. j18nation.com. There it is right there at the bottom. Is that correct, sir? Yes, sir. That is correct. Yes, sir. All right. And his Instagram, I believe he said it was I am Zion Israel. Am I correct? That's exactly right. And he yes, can sir. be found on Facebook as Zion Israel as well. Um, and at J18Nation.com, I'm more than sure um, that you are. Is that a website as well? The web page? Is that your web page? I'm more than yes, sure sir. that on that web page, you will be able to find everything that you actually need to be able to get in touch with this man um he is sent by the most high i can i can attest to that M many people who have heard me talk have heard me say many a times and i still truly believe it that we were not sent here to the because of the sins of our fathers and the most high could have done away with us but he didn't but at the same time 
There are ways for us to be able to overcome and to be able to be curse breakers of the ones That's that right. the Most High put on us. And right. with Zion Israel, this brother here has answered the bell. He has listened to what it is that the Most High has been able to put before him and he has made the best of it. One of the things that I told my children not long ago was that we're all put here for a reason. And until you figure out what that reason is and start walking within that purpose, we're not living. We're just existing. So yeah. Zion Israel, yeah, truth be told, Flex podcast, giving us these jewels, man, on what we need to do to be able to break these financial curses that we're in, that we can start moving and operating as a for real nation. Because as we see, everything is starting to fall around us, man. And so we need to be able to function outside of the system and what the system has put on us. You said it at the beginning. You said ownership to be able to call my own shots, to be able to be with my family, to be right. able to keep the Shabbats, the feast days and holy days and not have to answer to a boss. Before I get out of here, though, I do have one question for you, brother. With all of the trouble and stuff that's going on with the banks, they closing and things like that, right? Is there anything that we need to, to know or do we need to be worried about when it comes to the banks, banking system? Or, you know, is it just, you know, do we just sit back and watch this thing? Do you have any insight on what's happening right now? <clears throat> yeah, so um, we know we, you know, it's a lot going on right now with the bank crashing and the dollar is losing its value, right? And there's some things that we can take advantage of that's why the value, the dollar value is going down like cryptocurrency. You know, that's something Bet. you got to look into, do your research. Um, you know, that's something we can start taking advantage of as well. And then, like I mentioned with the stock guys, you see when you own Apple, when you own Microsoft, when you own land and oil guys, that has nothing to do with the dollar. It has it has everything to do with equity and ownership of the company. So it don't it don't affect your dollars, okay? Because these companies want to stay around because they also have uh, investments in other things like cryptocurrency and Bitcoin, things of that nature. So by you investing in them, they're the one putting their money into these other things to protect their dollar. So they're going to keep their company established. So by you investing in them, you win because they understand the importance of not just depending on the American dollar that's losing this value. So you do have education and knowledge in investing in cryptocurrencies and bitcoins and things like that as well. Yeah, talk, yeah, yeah self self taught education when it comes to to not necessarily not too much on Bitcoin, but but um, crypto. Self talk, yeah. So, I so before I, we get I'm, out of here, what's the quickest way for you to explain the difference in crypto and Bitcoin? So, so when it comes to Bitcoin, okay, I'm not, and, and you, can, I'm not sure if you know or not. I'm not too too knowledgeable with Bitcoin, but I can touch on crypt, crypto. There's a, there's, I mean, there's so many different layers with crypto, right? Um, you can literally have a painting that you made and, and you can do an exchange and have the value. Right? I mean, there's a whole lot of other things that you can do with crypto as well. Um, there's things that you can do with crypto as far as currency. You can, um, you know, you can put your business um, up for, for a exchange or ownership where people can invest in your business and able to pour into it in whatever way it could to bring value. So, so crypto is a lot of things that you can do where you can use whatever your skill set, whatever your hand find it to do, you can use crypto as that to become getting investments and ownership in that way. And I'm just touching on those things right now for crypto. Bitcoin, I don't know too much on Bitcoin, but I know Bitcoin is another type of currency that in case you are worried about the dollar losing its value, you can do your research and look more into Bitcoin and then go from there. Um, but it is a currency you can also take advantage of as well. Cool. You heard it here on the Truth Be Told Flex podcast. My man Zion Israel came in and again, he dropped those financial 
Nuggets, hey, when you come back to the show, brother, we're going to talk a little bit about the central bank digital currency. Oh, yes, yes, um, yes. I, I want to talk about, yeah, when you come to the show, we're going to talk about that. And I also want us to get into, I want to know what your thoughts is on the on the Fed Now program that they're about to roll out come the 1st of June as well. Yeah, I don't know if you're familiar right. with that or right. not. Okay, then yeah. cool, cool. Uh-huh. So you are familiar uh-huh. with that. Okay, yes, cool. Sir. So as you see, the conversation has not ended. <laughs> it's just going to continue to go. Zion, you got anything that you want to say to the people before we get you out of here, my man? Man, I, I, it was a blessing to be here on Flex Podcast, man. I, I enjoyed the conversation that we had and uh, it's a definitely needed conversation. Hopefully we can do more of these things. Um, because one thing about Israel, we're very talented. You know, we can we can do a lot of things. It's time for us to take our knowledge of talent and entertainment and use it when it comes to education, not just with scripture, because what well, we're not going to say that because money finances is actually a principle that's found in scripture. Right. So we got to make sure we're doing those things as well. And I appreciate you for allowing a brother like myself, right, a financial coach, to be on this call with you to educate our people. So thank you so much for all that you do. And I continue to definitely lift you yes, guys up um, so we can continue to flex podcasts and have these type of conversations. Oh, praise this brother. And we thank you for coming. And just to piggyback off of what he said about the finances being in the Bible, hey, those Jews, those fake Jews, everything that they do on the financial side, it comes right out of our Torah. On, everything that they do, it comes right out of our Torah. And if we see that it worked for them, we know it'll work for us because we're the chosen. We are the chosen. So with that being said, I am Shia Yashu. You know, we can't wait till the brother come back and sit down with us on a regular night on the show. We're going to chop it up and do it like we always do. So with that being said, we want to say Shalom. Shalom.